First, fair, everywhere. No peace for a local family. A driver hit and killed their loved one. That driver, nowhere to be found. And now, six years later, police are at a standstill with the investigation. Now at 3, Winnie Dorch is talking to the family who hopes, is praying that this person is tracked down. Unreal. It was like it wasn't true, like I was having a nightmare. Thursday marks six long years since the day Kyle Gutierrez took his last breath. A car hit the 22-year-old on his way home one cold February morning. Since then, no arrest. Nothing that leads Oberlin police to his killer. His sister Veronica Stecco talking to us over the phone in Virginia. It hurts. It was February 8, 2018, just before 2 a.m. Gutierrez and his brother were walking home. The two parted ways. I don't know if he was crossing the street or walking in the street because it had snowed that night and all he had was tennis shoes he didn't have on boots. Gutierrez found dead. A driver left him laying in the middle of North Main Street. During the investigation, several people interviewed and no luck. There's still a pain. I, uh, I have a five-year-old and I named my son after him. My son's name is Kyle. Gutierrez described as free spirited. He liked to put all of his wants above his needs to, to live his life. Stecco made a Facebook post two days after his death for giving the driver, but still begging that person to come forward. Today, her feelings haven't changed. For your own sanity and for the redemption of your soul, you should turn yourself in. Stecco says she last talked to police this past summer. A new detective was put on the case, and he told her if he had anything new, he would give her a call. She has yet to hear back. In Oberlin, Winnie Dorch, 19 News. Now